hi guys welcome back to mama SOG vlog how are you guys doing if you are new here you are welcome and if you are the donor subscriber god bless you as you always come back to watch my video my people know be so much you know today video my people will wash them together with her all right my people we'll go watch the video to see what really they happen for inside the video my people see 22 and this message is coming directly on behalf of chief sunday at the yemo Igowo doctor and this message is also going directly to the governor of Ondo State, Governor Akiri Dulu. Chief Sunday, Dr. Sunday Adeyemo Igbowo has actually asked me to respond back to the article behind me that came out just about a few hours ago speaking directly into the Yoruba nation agitation that has been going on in the southwest of Nigeria. Dr. Sunday would like me to bring to the notice of Governor Ulua Rotimi Akiridulu, the chairman of the Southwest Governor Forum, and likewise the current governor of Ondo State, that we would and we would not be giving any more of such threat to the Yoruba people. We will not allow your intimidation. We will not give in for those intimidation against all the Yorubas in the southwest of Nigeria today. The Yorubas that are demanding their right to self-determination. The Yorubas that have the same right to also continue their peaceful and law-abiding protest to demand their right until the world will come into the dissolution of Nigeria. Dr. Chief Sunday Adeyemo Igbowo has asked me to tell the governor of Ondo State, not just because we have been coming out for the last couple of days, we would continue to make our way into every part of Yoruba land until the international community would then have no other option than to dissolve Nigeria so that we can have the right to self-determination. Dr. Sunday Igbowo Adeyemo, aka Sunday Igbowo, would also like me to remind the governor some of the reasons why the Yoruba people are asking for their right to self-determination under the United Nations Charter, under the African Union, and likewise, the right as the indigenous people that owns the territory known as the southwest part of Nigeria. Dr. Chief Sunday Adeyemo would like me to remind the Ondo State Governor and the Southwest Chairman of the Governor's Forum that first and foremost, that it should not allow any war to come into the Southwest. And I repeat, clearly for those that will deliver the message back directly to the governor of Ondo State. I was told to give this full warning to Dr. to Chief, uh, uh, I was told to advise those advising the governor against the right of the Yoruba people I was told to tell the governor on behalf of Dr. Sunday Igbowo that there is no amount of intimidation, there is no amount of subjugation, there is no amount of nepotism, but they should not allow Southwest to become a war zone just as the Nigerian military are doing currently in the southeast part of Nigeria today. Dr. Sunday Igbowo would also like me to tell all our traditional rulers to tell the governor of Ondo State, Rotimi Akeridolu, that we would not allow Southeast, as it is currently being battered by the Nigerian security, arresting innocent Biafrans, arresting those that are asking for their right to self determination. Dr. Sunday Igbowo, a.k.a. Sunday Igbowo, today, the 23rd day of December, Friday, at exactly 8.41 p.m. from London, speaking on behalf of Dr. Sunday Igbowo, 
that the article which I'm going to read a little bit of it that says according to the headline in different mainstream media back home in Nigeria agitation for Yoruba nation won't succeed Akiri Dulu the Ondo state governor Mr. Rotimi Akiri Dulu has condemned the continuous agitation for the Yoruba nation by some groups in the southwest saying such would thwart the effort of those who had laid their lives for the unity of Nigeria. Akiri Dulu, who is the chairman of the Southern Governor Forum, also vowed that no state in the southwest region will allow any agitation that will scuttle the sacrifice of the nation's heroes. He made this declaration at the inauguration of the emblem appeal to flag off the 2023 Armed Force Remembrance Day celebration that was held in Ondo State Internal Revenue Service Hall, Akure, the state capital. The governor said those clamoring for Odua Nation will not succeed. People have laid, their, laid down their lives for this country, for unscrupulous individuals to scuffle it. This country is very important to some of us. We recognize the right of those people who protest or agitate. But if the police feel your actions are treasonable, they would arrest and prosecute you. This particular statement, Dr. Sunday Igbowo is now also directing, telling me to tell the chief of army staff, to also tell the inspector general of police, the director of the DSS, and all the security personnel not to take such action. Such an action will provoke a war into the Southwest that the governor of Ondo State is clamoring as we speak right now. I repeat, Dr. Sunday has warned that any of the security personnel from the Chief of Army Staff, the Inspector General of Police, the DSS, or the Commissioner for Police in the Southwest, we would not allow anyone to be arrested for those that are clamoring and asking for their right to self-determination. We will continue with our right, a peaceful rally across the Southwest and the next announcement of the next state will be given in the next couple of few days. I repeat, there will be more protests and rally going on in the Southwest of Nigeria and including in Ondo State. We will be coming to Ondo State and the governor should be cautioned not to bring a war into the southwest with such statement that the Yoruba people that are asking for their right. I would like to remind the governor some of the atrocities that have taken place under his own nose. Let us take you back to remind you that the late daughter of Fashion Roti was killed by the Fulani terrorists in the southwest and precisely in Ondo State. Up to now, nobody has actually been asked for any reason for such. I'm also going to remind the governor some of the atrocity. Let's go back to the, uh, the first class king that was actually killed as well in Ondo State. I am actually talking about Oba Olufon of Ifon. Oba Olufon Ifon was killed by the Fulani terrorists in Ondo State on the 26th of November 2020. Again, to remind the governor that there was a massacre under his nose by the Fulani terrorists. These are all the reasons that the Yoruba are saying that the union and the unity that the governor is talking about is no longer working and is now void. And that will mean that the Yoruba will continue their peaceful and law abiding rally and protest across the southwest and no security personnel would arrest or put any kind of intimidation for the Nigerian, for the Yoruba people that are clamoring for their right. Let me remind the governor that on the 17th in Owo, in Nondo State, these are the faces of individuals that were murdered in cold blood during the massacre that took place at St. Francis Catholic Church in Owo, in the southwestern Nigeria. Almost 40 individual people were killed, including children. Let me also remind the governor, recently our brother, our father, our uncle was actually murdered by these individuals that have now been arrested according to the Nigerian police today. I'm talking about Rachel Okwadili 
and our brother the Ogbomo Shaw Otelia, a US based Benga Owolabi that was murdered this year and the body has now been returned back to Maryland where he has actually been buried. This is going directly to the governor of Ondo State and the Southwest governor that they should be respecting our right to self-determination and Chief Sunday Bowo will be giving us the next date and where the next rally will be coming and likewise rally will take place as well in Ondo State they should be expecting us he want me to tell the governor that he would not sit behind and allow any security personnel to arrest attack if that is going to be the case we would have no other option than to continue our peaceful and law-abiding rally. But this is not the southeast part of Nigeria. This is called the southwest part of Nigeria. And just to now present this presentation in Yoruba, Babawa Oloye, Dr. Sunday Igbowo, Onikimu Ironyi Iwafu, Governor Ondo State, Oluwa Rotimi Akeredolu, Fun iroyin to jade ti ari ni nkan bi wa kati kan ti iroyin na so pe gbogbo mo yoruba to n pe fun ominira yoruba ti won so pe ti olopa soja ti o ba ti mu won pe ko ma gbe won lo won ni ogun ni e n pe yen nitori pe ogun ti o nsele ni southeast lowo lowo leni o wa lowo awon gomina won Baba wa sonde wa ni awo ofe ogun in ta nbere fun ni eto wa pe ki baba wa kere do luma re ti awon like pe like jina ni lu ondo state ko ma re ti awon ni le yoruba awon bo won ni kin so fun gbogbo bo yoruba pe iru iru iroyin ti eri pe ko ma deru bayi ni kokan ohun la won se ni pe ki n jade gege bi agbenu sun awon won ni itesi waju nlo ninu inu iru ninu ise ta n gbe lolowo lowo won ni kin ki gbogbo mo yoruba ti o lo si ilu oyo state won ni iyi to ma je state to ku awon ma announce ti a ma so fun gbogbo mo yoruba won wa ni kin so fun gbogbo obalade pe awon ki won daada pe ko jo awon ro won awon be won ko pe baba wa akere dolu iyen gomina ondo state ko ma gbe ogun wa sile yoruba o won ni kin so fun gomina ondo state lati ara awon ba wa awon ba le wa pe ko tete ba wa pe baba wa governor ondo state ro ti mi akere dolu pe in ton lo nile ibo lowo lowo to fi di pe awon soja n pa awon mo ibo won pa awon mo igbo won pa awon mo biafra nitori pe won bere fun eto won won ni awon ofe iru e o nile yoruba nitori pe iru atejise to jade ninu iwe aroyin ti o lo lowo lowo ni sale ti o so fun gbogbo awon soja ati awon olopa pe gbogbo eni ti wa ba ro pe o to pe ko gbe ninu in ti an bere fun yin pe ko ma gbe won lo baba wa sunday won ni kin so fun gomina ondo state pe e ma se be o nitori pe in ta n se ta n fi so pe afa eto wa won ni kin salaye fun won ti a ko ye won ni won ni kin mu awon alaye kekeke jade nitori pe lara awon idi ti a se so pe afe daduro ohun ni pe a ki nsomo yoruba a ki nsomo nigeria lugad lo ko gbogbo apapo ni 1914 to fi pe ni nigeria lara anti baba kere do lu so ni pe awon kan ti sacrifice emi won lo ti to awon kan sacrifice emi won but iyan ni kokon se pelu pe ka ma bere eto wa nitori pe awa la ni eto yen eto pe ile wa ti omi nbe ti gbogbo en be a ah, wa ri eto na lo mo o di pe awon fulani awusa awon londo eto na won ni ikede yi won ni ki baba wa akere dolu ko te jeje won ni tori pe ibi ta won wa awon ni gba ka won joko o di pe gbogbo awon mo to nlo to nbo ton pe to fun eto won ton bere fe eto won won eto wa la nbere fun eto wa la nbere fun en to ba de n bere fe to e o ti di dodon pe ko gbe to na won ni kin ran baba wa leti pe ninu abe nozi won ni be ninu won ni state won ni won ti pa omo baba wa fashion ran ti won na bo ti gbagbe ni won ni kin ran won leti won ni tori pe ninu ondo state ni be ni ilu owo ni won ti pa awon eyan won na bi won ti gbagbe ni 
Igbe ton jade ninu owo la ipe yi nigbati awon fulani payan payan to wole to pa opolopo awon ala ise ninu church won ni kin ran baba leti pe inti eh ti wa danjuma yi to so la ipe yi won ni kin je ki wo gbo se ti bi awon ti gbagbe ni pe awon soldier ti won so pe ko ba ma arrest awon eyan ise soldier ni pe o je ko lo ma arrest gbogbo eni ti o nse ise bi ni nigeria ati ni le yoruba won ni awon eyan le lo sopo a le gbe a le to a le rin lati eko de ilu ibadan ko ma jiyan gbe won no joju mo lon payan ninu ondo state ni be won ni ki lo ri se si yen won ni to ko ma da ogun sile bi soja se n payan to so gbogbo le igbo to so di into di le ni won ni ki ran won le ti daada pe o ya won ti gbagbe pe eto ta n bere fun yi o se pe a so pe a fe kogun wa won ni but awon ri nisin pe o dan pe governor ondo state gangan lo fe fi owo ara won gbe ogun wole yoruba won ni ki won se kini won ni ko se suru gan nitori pe in ta n fa yi in ta se fa lo ni in to de je pe eto wa ni iyan kokun ode le gba eto mo yoruba kuro lowo e o ti di dodon pe a ma gba eto wa won ni tori pe kini omo lu abi ni gbogbo omo yoruba won wa ni kin so fun gbogbo yen omo yoruba o won ni ka fo kan wa bale won ni ko si beru ko soju rara won ni tori pe in titi wa danju ma so won ni kin ran baba wa akere do luleti papa ni gbogbo yin te nko wa eja sare gbon titi wa danju ma so a wa tun ran baba akere do luleti in ti malafia so ko to di pa ma pari eto yi lekan si iroyi o njade leni Ojo Jimo, Friday, 23rd of December, 2022. Every one of us must rise up. The armed forces are not neutral. They collude. They, they collude. collude. They, they collude. collude. With, With the armed bandits. They kill people. Kill the Nigerians. Kill the Nigerians. They are facilitating their movements. They cover them. If you are depending on the armed forces to stop the killings, you will all die one by one. Which is it for Dr. Do you think the government is unwilling or unable to protect the people of Salam and Kaduna? In fact, it is not only an ill, it is unwilling, and we have good reason to feel that they are part and parcel of the killers. Let me make some revelations to you. That's a very big, that is a very big allegation of the government. The government is part and parcel of, of the killers. That, that's big. Yes. Yeah. Okay. How will the government just say, oh, it is a very killing, and so then you leave it there? Oh, because it is a very killing, and so on and so forth. The body language of this administration. The body language of the state government shows clearly that they have handled the killings. No doubt about it. Because, you see, General Abacha, hmm. and people don't give him his view. Do you think that the tolerance is such nonsense? And let me make some relations, because some of us also have our own intelligence networks. Okay. Okay. Have met with some of the bandits. We have met with some of their high commanders. Why do people have repented? They have sat down with us, not once, not twice. They told us that one of the northern governors is the commander of Boko Haram in Nigeria. Boko Haram and the bandits are one and seventy. They have a sophisticated network. During this lockdown, their peers were moving up and down as well as going up and down. Moving ammunition, moving logistics, moving money, and distributing them to different parts of the country. They are only in the south, in the very forest of the south. They are everywhere. They told us that when they finish this rural killings, they will move to phase two. The phase two is they will go into the urban cities, going from house to house. Killing prominent people. I can tell you, this is the game plan. By 2022, they want to start a civil war in Nigeria. I have a good feeling about 
my people now the video now on a new watch for this on a see what you for inside the video all of my people i would like to end the video for you make gonna let me know Waiting on a thing for the comment section, and if you are never subscribe, make on a subscribe so that you are not go miss any latest gist way I upload. And I'll be back to you next time. Bye, guys. That's my next video. Bye, guys.